Hi everyone, welcome to Bat Thrift Crazy. I'm Joanne. I have got a really good video for you today. At least I think it is. First, I'm going to take you along with me while Heidi and I go thrifting at a church yard sale. They have been popping up left and right lately, which is really great because I love a good church yard sale. And then I'm going to show you after that the things that I picked up not only at the church yard sale, but at two new to me thrift stores. Uh, Heidi took me down to Irwin, North Carolina to a place that she has been to before. And on the way down there, we stopped at a new thrift store that was new to both of us. And I'll show you what I picked up at both of those new to me thrift stores. If the video starts to be a little bit too long, I may go ahead and break this up into two, but we, we'll see what we can cram into one video. But let's go ahead and get started, and let me take you around to the church yard sale first. Let's go ahead and get started. Well, here we are at another amazing church sale. I have already gone through once, and I'm here with Heidi from the Weathered Fence Post. Gonna go through a second time, because you just never know what you missed going through the first. And then stay tuned to the end of the video, where I will show you everything that I picked up but I have no doubt that I'll find some more things on round two. Susie, I'll be right back. She's got it. <laughs> Susie, I'll be right back. Oh, that snowman is adorable. Whoops. This reminds me of something that I have up in my attic already. Oh, it's a Bible. Nineteen fifty-four. Copyright nineteen fifty-two. And a Fanny Farmer cookbook. It's got to be an old one. I think we'll pick both of these up. Looking for the older books here. Hardcover. And they are playing music in the background. So I'm either going to have to talk louder or I'm going to end up having to do a voiceover. Although I must say it's some good music. Say hello, Heidi. Hi. I'll say hello, Heidi, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, have you found some treasures? I did. I found the cutest little table. They put it aside for oh, okay. me. I went and tried to steal yeah. someone else's table. I checked it all out and was carrying it away. He's like, wait a minute, that's mine. That's oh, mine. no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take it. Oh, 
would be a hard one to do. What is it? Grand Canyon Skywalk. Oh my goodness. That would be really hard to do. Ooh. It's like all the same. Oh my gosh. I love puzzles. Me too. I used to do them with my mom all the time. And Caitlin and I do them. Oh, well, look at it. <gasps> is it sealed? sealed? Oh, uh, no, not here. So oh, not shoot. Sure. Uh. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love puzzles. I do too. I wish I had more time to do them. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> This is the cutest little desk right here. Hey, we didn't have the chairs like that. Wish I had I more time. Existed. I would love to get that and refinish it. Looks like a little Yoda Chia pet. What does this say? Safe? Oh no, it's not. All these are pajamas. These are too. Or sweats. Oh, there's some wood shims. That's too many. I would just need a few of those. Some old patterns back there. They have not done well for me. I've only been able to sell one of them up at my booth. So let's go down this row and then we'll go down the other. See if they added anything more here. Oh, cute little jar here. A spotter picture here. Hmm. Oh, the handle is kind of messed up on it. Okay. These glasses are really pretty, but a lot of the gold is off of them. And I actually made out pretty well here at this sale, seeing as how we got here two hours after it started. I think we both did pretty well. Let's check out this table up here. Oh, I think I see a bread maker. I missed out on a bread maker at the last church sale, so I definitely want to check this one out. Heidi picked up a really pretty piece of pottery from this particular table when we first got here. So you're going to have to check out her video. To see what she picked up. Here we go. Three dollars. Oh my goodness. Three dollars. Wow, it is, oh, wow, yeah, that's a little too dirty even for me. Yeah, I love the price, 
don't love how dirty it is. Okay, now let's go down this row here. Saw these placemats the first time around. I really love them, but they are not in very good condition. And uh, one woman did say that everything that does not sell, they're going to be taking to a thrift store locally here called Dorcas. Some more linens. These are covers. So I do hope you enjoyed that walk around at the thrift at the uh, church sale. I spent twelve dollars at that church sale. Let me go ahead and show you what I picked up there first. Uh, found this, and I think you saw it on the video. This Fanny Farmer cookbook. It is in pretty rough shape, that's okay. This is copyright, it is the 11th edition, and it is copy, last copyright, oh, where is this? 1965, first copyright back in 1896. And there it is right there. And I will bet you there are some amazing recipes in here. There are all kinds of things. Uh, fruit drinks and cocktail uh, juices, stuffings, eggs, cheese and cheese dishes. And you can see this was put to the test because it's got some, some stains on it from when it was uh, used. Shellfish recipes, beef ham, bacon, and sausages, variety meats, vegetables, cereals and grains. I mean, you name it, and it is probably in this cookbook. So I was pretty happy to pick that up. And then this I picked up originally because of the color of the cover of the book, and it turned out to be a Bible. And this was gifted to... Uh, baby with love and good wishes mom and pop back in March on the 26th of 1954 and this too is a little bit the binding is starting to come apart just a little bit and this was copyrighted back in 1952 yep copyright 1952 on that and I know that a lot of people do like to pick up the old Bibles. Um, this is sad. It does have a sympathy card in it. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave that sympathy card in. So I picked that up. This planter, I think, is just amazing. Look at the gorgeous green color on this. This is a nice, heavy, heavy planter. And this was made the sticker is a little bit folded back here but this planter was made in vietnam beautiful piece like i said gorgeous gorgeous green color on this and three dollars oh my goodness kind of reminds me of that one planter that i picked up it may have been at another church yard sale now i can't remember that was three dollars as well i can't resist a um rolling pin i might just leave this as it is it's a nice weathered color on it um i think this was a dollar beautiful beautiful blue cobalt and i think was this the milk of magnesia yep genuine phillips gorgeous blue color now they had a second one here there as well uh whoops 
And you could see the cap on this is pretty rusted, but the other one, the cap on it was really, really rusted. So I decided to leave that one behind, but this is absolutely gorgeous. Now this piece was on top of, and I believe it's a ladle. This was on top of a box that had, um, oh my goodness, a punch bowl set. And this was marked separately on it. So I didn't think it was part of the punch bowl. So I didn't feel bad about picking this up separately. And I'm, I'm not sure that anyone is going to purchase it separately, but I thought it was just a beautiful piece. And you could put a little succulent or just a faux plant in there. And I think it would make a, a really nice, will it stand up on its own? It will. And now it is a little bit top heavy, but once you put some dirt in here and a little bit of gravel, I think, to make it, um, to put some drainage in it, I think it'll stand up alone. And then look at, can you see the light shining off of that? I think that'd make a beautiful little planter for something. And then kind of on that sort of planting theme, I could not leave this guy behind. Wait till you see this. Oh my goodness. Look at this frog, and he has the little tools in him for gardening, like a little rake there, and a couple little digging pieces, and then the little spray bottle. Oh, dear, does the spray bottle not work? Oh, darn. Oh, my gosh, it does, but you really have to push down on that. Oh, my gosh, I'm going to see if some WD-40 We'll loosen that up a little bit because this piece is just adorable. And I think, was this marked? Oh, and I have to glue that because that came right out of there. Was this marked Japan or something on the bottom? Oh, no, Taiwan. Uh, 1976. Taiwan. If you can make that out on the bottom of this. But oh my goodness. And I think I said in the video that we arrived at that sale two hours after it had started. And we still managed to pick up some amazing pieces. And you will have to hop over to Heidi's channel, The Weathered Fence Post. I'm not sure when she's going to put her video up of the things that she picked up. But you have to go over and see the things that she picked up as well. So that is everything that I picked up at the church sale. And then, no, it's not. Hold on. Oh, I almost, I can't believe I almost forgot this piece. Can you see? No, you can barely see it. Back here, I'm going to pick it up. This is a heavy, heavy piece. And you will not believe what I paid for this table. It is solid mahogany. No, oh, gosh. And the top does need to be worked on. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous table. Solid, no rocking on it whatsoever. The lines are beautiful. I paid $3 for this table. Now, oh goodness, <laughs> that is going to be a project piece. I'll put that away because that's a piece I'm going to have to work on after I retire because it's going to have to be sanded down on the top of it. My original thought is that I might want to paint it, but when I realized uh, when Heidi, Heidi did it for me, she flipped it over and was putting it into her truck. She's the one that found the tag on the bottom of it that said it was solid mahogany. I thought, I don't think I can paint that in all good conscience. I don't think I can paint a solid mahogany table. So I think I'm going to try and sand that piece, the damage that, the water damage that's done on it, sand it and then stain it because to paint it, I just think it would be just terrible to do that to it. But that was my original thought was to, um, to paint it and then put transfers on it. I don't, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to do that to it now. But anyway, that is going to be a project piece for later on. But that now is everything that I picked up. Um, then... I only picked up two pieces at the thrift store that we stopped at. And I cannot remember, I think, it, oh, Under the Umbrella is what it was called. 
and I have been looking for a display box like this for a while and I can't believe it was one of the first things I saw when I walked in and I like it because it really has that kind of look that aesthetic that I really enjoy and it just lifts up here it has the glass in it perfect I think I'm going to change out the burlap that's in it for just a black sort of like a felt I think perfect piece I paid $6.99 for that and then I picked up I, these uh kind of like a lounging pajama these are made in Hong Kong don't think they're silk but let's see no they're polyester <gasps> Lewis no sir <laughs> And the pants are kind of simple. It's the top. Look at the top. Here's the top. Wait till you see the back. Look at how beautiful the back is. Like about what? A, three, a third of the way down. It's sheer with the embroidery on it. And then does it have, oh yeah, little sparkly beads on it. And does still have the tag on. But I thought this was a beautiful, beautiful set. And I think their pajama sets were like $4.99, something like that, $3.99. Um, okay, so that was it there. Now, the last place we went to was the place that Heidi had already been to once before. Now, I spent, which is so not like me. I spent $115 at this place, and it was called the, you know what, I can't remember. I'm going to put it up here um, when I find out what the name of the store was, because I, I just can't remember now, but it was in Irwin, North Carolina. Um, like I said, so unlike me to spend $115. I spent $35 on the first piece that I'm going to show you. And it is down here. I've never, this is another thing that I've never seen before. And this may be an antique. Oh my gosh, it weighs a ton. This is a cash drawer. Look, look out, Louis. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh my gosh, it's a cash drawer. And there it is. So I have to lightly sand this. Let me, oh, hold on here, guys. Let me tip the camera down a bit. I hope it doesn't fall right out of. Okay, there we go. There it is. So you just pull the drawer open here. And you can see this is where your coins would go. Whoop. Your coins would go right in there. And then your bills would go in here. And those would keep it, keep your bills down. And then you push it in. And did you hear the bell ring? And there's the bell underneath of it that rings. So there we have it. I should have asked him. Okay, let me pull you back up here. Hopefully without knocking you off. There we go. So this alone I paid $35 for. Oh, let me get you straightened back up again. Sorry about all that movement. So that I paid $35 for. Um, so everything else was $80. And some things were marked. Some Most things were not marked. So it's kind of just like this big bundle, I'm going to say. So what I'm going to do is let me pull, because all that box back there is everything. Um, this, this is pretty cool, actually. I vacillated on this. And Heidi, <laughs> we, we have decided, is a bad influence on me when we go thrifting together. I vacillated on this, but in the long run, I'm glad that I got it. This is a cutting board, but... And it has a drawer underneath of it, which is pretty cool because I think this would be really cool in somebody's kitchen. They could put their 
um, like their Keurig or something on top of here, and they could put their little uh, cake cups inside of this. Um, it does have, you can see, it does have to be cleaned up a little bit, but I could um, sand this down a bit, clean it off, and even just putting a little transfer, like maybe right here on the front of it, where you would be able to see it, but put your Keurig back here, and there's a little transfer on the front right there, so you'd still be able to see the transfer part of it. I think that would look really cute. Um, then we have the first of two. Here we are. Uh, thermometers. Well, let's see, a thermometer, barometer, and then the humidity. Shows the humidity. Um, this is from Sunbeam. Cool thing about that is it has the key right back here. And this is one of two that I got. You can see this one has a black rim around it. Now let me grab the box that's right back here. That has everything else that I got from the gentleman. His name was Neil. And this is the other one that I purchased. Whoop! Got rained on. And again, the thermometer, uh, barometer, and the humidity. And this one doesn't, you can see, does not have any kind of black rim around it, but it does have this nice hanger here. And this one was made by Springfield. And that one also has the key that it needs. And it was funny when when I was getting these, he said, "So who is the thermometer uh, collector?" And I said to him, "I said I don't know yet. <laughs> they haven't purchased them." And Heidi said, "Oh, you must for, must have forgotten that I'm a reseller." Well, Joanna's a reseller as well. He said, "Oh yes, that's right. He had forgotten." Um, yes, I left all of this stuff in my truck, so I had to go running out in the pouring rain to pick everything up. Now these, I don't know if anybody collects these kind of things any longer, but I thought these were really sweet and the flowers on them were really, really cute. This is a set of three. Um, oh my gosh, there is some writing on the back of this. You guys might be able to make this out in the camera, but let's get the little teapot with the cream and sugar and the flowers. It, they're so pretty. And then here we have, are those violets? And then here is the last piece. Isn't it just so sweet? I think that whole, that three piece set is just so pretty. I really like the colors in this. And then let's see, what else do we have in here? I don't know why, but Neil was very tickled that I found this and picked this up. This is from uh, Gil, Gil Barco, and it's a gas pump nozzle. I will just clean this up a little bit. I'm not going to clean it, clean it, but just clean it up a little bit. It's quite heavy, but I thought that was kind of a cool piece. Oh. As usual, I'm running out of space on the poor little kitchen counter. Um, oh, I picked up every copper and brass candle snuffer that he had. Now these two, he had marked at $15 a piece. And I like put them up on the counter. I said, nope, that's way over my budget. And he said, no, 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 don't be too hasty. Let's just figure this out. So he gave me... A deal on these because these two alone would have been $30 and I know that is not what he charged me for them so this one is it just says candle snuffer but this is a brass one and I love the swirl on the, the long handle here and this one is brass and it has a copper the snuffer part is copper Um, let me see. This one is kind of cool. It has the wood handle and then 
the snuffer part kind of just hangs. This was made in Hong Kong, still has its sticker on it. And these are great. I know um, people like to set these on books. Let me show you. They look real pretty, just set on books. So I'll kind of um, stage those like that. Um, there are more coming. Found all of these. Now, I'm not sure if these are actually rusty stars or the metal is just made to look rusty, but those are kind of cool. One, two, three, four of those. There might be another one in there. I'm not sure. But right now we have four of those. And this little, I'm saying she's a girl because of her eyelashes. Look at that pretty little wooden whale with those long eyelashes, beautiful wood. Um, not sure what the sticker used to say on the bottom there, but I thought she was really pretty. So I'll just clean her up with a little bit of old English. Uh, here's another one made in Hong Kong. Another brass candle snuffer. Oh, and this one's really pretty. Look at the detail on the ha long handle and then look at the detail on this. On the snuffer part almost looks you know it almost reminds me of an acorn but i know an acorn doesn't have the ridges in it but that's what it reminds me of so how many is that we have um let's see one two uh three four five and here is six um seven Looks like I may have gotten seven of them. And then we have this cute little brass pineapple night light. And it does work because I tried it when I was there. And then it has a, a wooden base on it. Oops. There we go. Um... And then these are really sweet, kind of primitive looking with the little hooks on them. Almost looks like a birdhouse, but not quite. Oh, I thought somebody might enjoy those. There's two of those, identical. And I got a lot, I think I got a lot of cool stuff. I'm quite happy with it. A tea infuser, because I have not um, found one of these in quite some time. And these are very popular. Those do sell. Uh, another tin. This one is a squib sodium bicarb. The top is a little bit worse for wear, but that's all right. Because people do, do still collect those. This is an amazing pulley. Look at that. It is very rusty, but that is okay. Weighs a ton. Oh my gosh. Oh, let me put that down there on top of that bag. This old plane. Again, a great little rusty, crusty piece there. Oh, and you will have to go because Heidi picked one up and the one that she picked up is just beautiful. The handle on it and then there's another piece on it that has wood the wood on the piece that she picked up is just just beautiful um, let me see we'll put that right there I have more okay what is in here I kind of forgot oh yes another this I haven't seen this one of these in a while I'm gonna say this as I is a sugar shaker um, I know some people might say it is for um, the old hat pins, but I don't think so because it has a cork in the bottom and I'm just really pretty. Look at the, uh, the detailing on it, the pretty roses and the, where's the butterfly? Oh, here's the butterfly on that side. Really, really pretty. So I'm saying that that is a sugar shaker. And here's Heidi being a bad influence on me. I vacillated on these a little bit. Um, these are Absorbistone coasters, but look at how pretty. And let's see if these are all the same, because I didn't even open them up, which was bad on me, because 
for all I know, the coasters, not they're all not in perfect condition. It could be broken, which would be bad, really bad. Uh, let me see. Oh, they're all the same. And nope, they're in great condition. Yep, they're all perfect. Thank you. Aren't they pretty, though? Oh, my goodness. Those are so, so pretty. Oh, and that's why um, she said to get them because, you know, I do have those teacups and the saucers with the tea and the chocolates and the teas that I'm trying to sell for Mother's Day coming up. And that was the suggestion that Heidi said to get these because they would be great to go with the teacups um, and saucers that I have. Kind of tie it all in a little bit. So, And those are really, really pretty. Oh, what do I have? Oh, isn't this sweet? Look at it's a little baby cup. Oh my goodness, isn't that adorable? No markings on this. This would be so sweet with a little plant put in it. Absolutely adorable. I'm guessing that that's aluminum. That is so cute. Oh, I know what this is. I rescued another Starbucks mug. This is from Detroit. It's one of the, this might be the um, the city uh, mugs. I'm not sure. City of Detroit. Yep. And then, oh, I think this was a vase. Yep. This I thought was really, really pretty. Look at her on that. Isn't she gorgeous? Oh my goodness. And then the gold trim around the top of it. And may, I, does that say made in German? I think that's what that says. I don't know. Dirty, dirty inside. But And then the last thing. Heidi said she saw this the first time she was there and did, did not pick it up. I think this is so stinking cute. You put your little sugar packets in there. This is plastic. And then there's your salt and pepper shakers. So cute. Uh, made in the USA. I think it says Davis Products, Brooklyn, New York. So adorable. So that is everything. Wow, that took a while, didn't it? Um, my favorite. Oh my goodness. Uh, I got to tell you, I have got a lot, a lot of favorites from this haul. Okay, where do I start? I love my $3 solid mahogany table. I love my $3 green planter from Vietnam. This vase, my seven candle snuffers, the cash box. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, the frog with all of his little pieces parts for the planting that huge um oh my goodness pulley oh my gosh the whale with the eyelashes these pieces believe it or not i just love the colors in them um the gas um pump thing oh my goodness okay I think those are my favorites. I know that was a lot, but those are my favorites. <laughs> so if you had one or more favorites in this haul, um, let me know. Let us all know in the uh, comment section down below. And if you enjoy thrift haul videos and you are not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would um, uh, consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Um, my channel has been just growing by leaps and bounds lately, and I am so thankful for that. So thank you so much for all of my new subscribers, and thank you for everyone that has been sticking it out with me for as long as you have been. I am so very, very grateful. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Lewis just jumped up on the table, although he has no room over here to join us right now. So I know you missed him in today's video. I'm sure he'll be with us again very, very soon. Uh, and if you uh, know anybody that likes these kind of videos, don't forget to share it with them as well. So until my next video, you guys, please take 
very, very uh, good care of yourselves. And thank you all for watching. I'll see you again soon. And bye for now.